dear friends and students we are, today we are going to discuss about uh, hyperconjugation or no bond resonance it is also known as or nathan bracken effect it is the named after the scientist who discovered this phenomenon this terms you will study in in our general organic chemistry in general organic chemistry you are familiar with the terms that is electronic effect there are four electronic effect is there one is we call it as inductive effect next one is resonance or resonance effect and third one is hyperconjugation and fourth one is electromagnetic i have already did some lesson on this resonance and resonance effect today i am going to discuss about hyperconjugation here inductive resonance and hyperconjugation what is the important point is that these three effects are permanent effects permanent effect whereas electromagnetic effect is a temporary effect i will give a, 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 a discussion i will give a separate lesson on this electromagnetic effect future so let, let us look at this hyperconjugation effect now what is the first point is that in which type of molecules or what is the condition for a molecule to show this hyperconjugation effect you know it should be it should have a either plus charge if the molecules have plus charge if the molecules have plus charge we call it as carbocations of free radicals or double bond double bonds means alkenes that is either carbocation free radicals or alkenes and having an alpha ch bond can show this hyperconjugation i have already did a lesson on how to find out the alpha carbon atom in a molecules you may just look look that looked at that uh, lesson you will get a clear picture on okay this molecule is a carbocations why it is called carbocations due to the presence of this plus charge therefore you can take it as this is the most important group in this molecules the carbon attached to the most important group is we call it as alpha carbon similarly this is known as free radicals why it is called free radicals it is because of the presence of this two this electrons therefore this is the most important group in here therefore you can take this as alpha carbon atom this we call it as an alkene alkene here again we call it as alkene due to the presence of this double bond therefore we can say that this is the most important group that means c double bond c is the most important group in this molecules the carbon attached to this group is we call it as alpha carbon one more thing you have to keep in mind is that this carbon atom is sp2 hybridized this is again sp2 because always carbocations have a sp2 hybridized carbon this is again sp2 but this is sp3 similarly this you know that is sp2 so what is you in other words we can say that what is the condition for a molecule to show the hyperconjugation is that it should have a sp2 hybrid carbon atom and alpha hydrogen atom alpha hydrogen atom the uh, alpha the hydrogen connected to alpha carbon is we call it as alpha hydrogen atom these are all alpha hydrogen atom then let us look what happened here the two electrons from here this we call it as sigma electrons will jump from here to here therefore the molecule changes its structure as just like this way ch h this will becomes h plus double bond c h h this is the under structure of this molecules since two electrons jump to here the electron deficiency of this carbon atom is satisfied there is no need of plus charge here but this hydrogen actually loses the electrons therefore it will become plus charge you know here there is no bond there will be definitely there will be a tendency of this h plus to move from from here to here will not allow him to escape at that times what will happen is that these two electrons jump from to here therefore it changes the structure in another way that is h h plus 
double bond C H H. In next times, these two electrons jump from here to here. It will again change the structure. That is, it will get H H plus. It is H double bond C H H. Next times, this electron jump from to here. You will get the initial initial molecules. Similarly, here again. So you can see that here one bond is missing. Now resonance is the phenomenon in which the molecule changes is can changes its structure. Here also the molecule changes its structure, but one bond is missing in each structures. That is why this is hyper this hyper conjugation is also known as no bond resonance. Now look at what happened here. Little bit different from here. Here there are two electron is there. One electron is there. This one electron jump from here to here. Therefore, in order to form a bond, one electron is enough. At that times, it just jumps to here. Do that, you will get the structure as H. H it will becomes H free radicals. Double bond C H H. Here again, bond is missing. There is a tendency of H free radicals to escape from here. Don't let him to go. At that times, that is again this electron jump to here. Therefore, it changes the structure as H H free radicals, then H double bond C H H. And next structure, what will happen is that this electron goes to here. Due to this, it is again changing the structure H then H free radicals double bond C H H. Similarly, look at in these molecules, what will happen is that here there are sigma electron is there. This goes to here. Do this, this becomes double bonds. Two double bonds at, a, <coughs> at the vicinity is not allowed at. At that times, this double bond goes to here. Due to this, you will get the structure as C H H. This will becomes H plus. Now, C double bond C H H. Here there is an H is there. This will become a carbanion. I mean, this, this will get a two electrons and negative charge. Next times, what will happen is that this goes to here, and then you will get H H plus H double bond C H C H h two electrons and negative charge and the next step this will goes to here and this process continues now look at how this hyper conjugation is possible you know it is an sp2 hybrid carbon atom whatever it may be it is carbocation or free radicals in both the case it is sp2 hybrid carbon atom perpendicular to this plane this is actually in the trigonal planar way perpendicular to this plane there is a p orbit list there. Here there is a, a sigma orbit list there. that is CH bond I have a sigma orbitals. Here you can find that a pi bond is formed between this carbon and carbon in the case of alkenes. This is a pi orbitals. These are the pi orbital mutually perpendicular plane which is at the perpendicular plane that is a pi orbit list there. Now look, let us look at how this hyper conjugation is possible. It is due to the Overlap in this case, uh, it is due to the overlap between sigma p orbitals. But in this case, uh, the overlapping is between actually between sigma and pi orbitals. Overlap between sigma and pi orbitals. In some cases, you can also say that it is pi star orbital. You know, if there is pi bond, definitely there will be pi orbitals and pi star orbital that is sigma to pi star orbital or sigma to p orbital overlapping is the reason for the hyper conjugation. Therefore, if somebody asks you, how can you define this hyper conjugation? You can define as it is the delocalization of sigma electrons from the alpha CH bond of a carbocation or free radicals or alkenes. Due to this, the molecule can have the capability to change its structures. Therefore, it is also known as no bond resonance. 
one more point you have to mention is that it is due to the either sigma p orbital overlapping or sigma pi star orbital overlapping these are the things you have to write in your essays similarly i have mentioned earlier you have to draw some examples also then you will get the mark on that questions now look at one more thing is that here ch is there here it is cd is there here it is ct is there what is the difference this hydrogen it is deuterium it is tritium then what will be the hyperconjugacy is it possible or not that is the point we are going to look here here again hyperconjugation is possible but but this bond is little bit of weaker than this bond which is weaker than this bond that means this is the strong bond in this molecules that is ct bond is stronger than cd bond which is stronger than ch bond therefore the movement of electron from here to here is little bit difficult in the case of ct but little more easy in the case of cd and little more more easy in the case of ch therefore we can say that hydrogen deuterium and tritium all this undergoes hyperconjugation effect but the capacity is high for hydrogen than deuterium than tritium therefore in general the strength of hyperconjugation effect you can say that ch3 higher than cd3 higher than ct3 this is very important on discussing the stability of some molecules these are the basic ideas regarding the hyperconjugation effect then uh, i'm going to stop here then i will come with a, a more I, i mean a one more lesson on this hyperconjugation it have a lot of application in the stability of carbocations free radicals uh, alkenes uh, electrophilic substitution reaction etc that application and examples i will do i will do in an, another lesson ഓക്കെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരെ ഞാൻ ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് ബോർഡ് ഉപയോഗിച്ചു കൊണ്ട് ഒരു ക്യാമറക്ക് മുന്നിൽ ക്ലാസ് എടുക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അതിൻ്റെ കുഴപ്പങ്ങളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാവും ആ കുഴപ്പങ്ങളൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ ചൂണ്ടിക്കാട്ടിക്കണം പിന്നെ ഞാൻ ഈ ക്ലാസ് എടുക്കുന്ന മിക്കവാറും ഭാഗങ്ങൾ ഹയർ സെക്കൻഡറി ഡിഗ്രി പി ജിക്ക് പഠി കെമിസ്ട്രി പഠിക്കുന്ന വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് ഉപകാരപ്പെടുന്ന തരത്തിലായിരിക്കും അപ്പം എന്തെങ്കിലും തരത്തിലുള്ള ഉപകാരം നിങ്ങൾക്കോ അല്ലെ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിന് ആർക്കെങ്കിലോ ഉപകാരപ്പെടുമെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്കൊരു തോന്നലുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എൻ്റെ ഒരു റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഈ ചാനൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ വീഡിയോസ് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിന് ഷെയർ ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കണം അങ്ങനെ ഷെയർ ചെയ്ത് കൊടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ഇത് കുറേ ആൾക്കാർക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും കുറേ ആൾക്കാർ കണ്ടാൽ എനിക്ക് കൂടുതൽ കൂടുതൽ സന്തോഷം കിട്ടും സന്തോഷം മാത്രമേ കിട്ടുള്ളൂ കൂടുതൽ ആൾക്കാർക്ക് ഉപകാരപ്പെടുമ്പോൾ ഐ ആം വെരി 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 ഹാപ്പി അതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണം റൈറ്റ്